Bowen. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever be standing here accepting this award. It's a pleasure and an honor. As you all know, I came from a small town in Amherst, Nova Scotia, Canada. And if anybody ever told me that I would grow up and make history and be in a family dynasty, I would have told everybody they were crazy. Throughout my career, I have wrestled for the National Wrestling Alliance and many smaller promotions overseas. And then finally, for the World's Wrestling Federation, now the WWE, I consider my home. The highest point of my career came in 1983, along with my friend Tony Atlas, when we became the first black team champion of the world. I find it very difficult. I'm kind of lost for words. But let me say this. We beat the Wild Samoans in a tag team championship match, and I think we made history that night. And I'm very, very proud of it. This is a... Thank you. And I love you all, too. And I want to thank you. Because I... This is not in my script, but without you, I wouldn't be standing here. Thank you. And I want to thank you. And I want to thank you. Big Show, I love you, man. Always will. This is a very special occasion made me even more because I shared honor with High Chief Peter Maivia. I know my father-in-law, he's in heaven right now, and I know he's looking down on all of us with a big smile on his face. He was a great man, and I love him to this day, and I really don't like this speech because, Leah, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for everything that you've done for me, but not only that, for the business and the Samoan culture. She was one and the only. And thank you, thank you, Linda. She was the only ever Samoan promoter. And I thank her for that. Teatha, how can I ever thank you for the unwavering support through the years? You have to understand that they welcomed me into the Samoan family, and I was so proud to be named the first non-Samoan high chief. And my chief's title is Chief Cassie Ayafi. And I'm very proud of that. She also gave me something that nobody could ever take from us. She gave me a beautiful son in Duane. You have to excuse me. I would also like to thank my beautiful daughter, Wanda, my son, Curtis, and for Dwayne, for everything you've done for me. You made me proud by continuing our family wrestling legacy, by continuing our family wrestling. I know in the beginning I resisted you from entering the business because I knew it was extremely difficult. And I only agreed to train you on one condition, that I would not go, on, go easy on you. And let me tell you, I didn't. I will tell you, my little Sally, I will tell you a story that's not on this script. He got sassy with me one time. It was about a mile and a half from home. And is he here? Yeah, OK. I was just checking. 
and he wanted sympathy, and it was pouring down rain. And I said, if you want sympathy, go home to your mother and get it. He said, that's exactly where I'm going. He took his bag and he left. And I love you too. I am both touched and honored. I know Peter would be very proud. It was, a, it was great jumping in the ring on Dwayne's half at WrestleMania 13. At least I thought, because when I got back in the dressing room, he told me to mind my own business. Yeah, there is one more thing. There was one special event that I always remember. It was a father and son tag team match. His very first match in Bahamas. I'll never forget it. First of all, we went over in the match in the dressing room, and it was, Dad, do this, Dad, do that. I said, okay. We st I started the match. The first five minutes into my match, he told me everything I was doing wrong. So I said, okay, I tagged him. Three minutes later, he came back huffing and puffing. And I said, don't tag me, because everything I'm doing is wrong. <laughs> so years later, we still talk about it, and we have a great laugh. But I will say this from the bottom of my heart, and I love him very much. He's my son, and he always will be. And I'm very proud of him. Another special friend, what can I say? I've been his friend for over 30 years. I love him very much. We work together around the world, giving the fans 110%. I love him to this very day. He's my best friend and brother. Half the time, I didn't know what he was saying. The other half, it didn't matter. <laughs> and that's my friend, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. I want to thank you and Len for everything, everything you've done, and I want to appreciate your knowledge and thank you. You're, draining, you're, you're doing a great job. Peter passed the le legacy on to you, and you opened the door for a lot of many Samoans, and I'm very proud of you. I could go on and on, Phil, Len, God bless you. In the beginning, I started working in tag team matches along with my friend. Who wrote this? <laughs> in the beginning, I started with my, my friend around Jumping Jack Armstrong around Detroit to get some experience. When I went to the South, it was very hard. It was a long, hard road. I dealt with everything from racial prejudice. There were hotels that wouldn't allow me to stay because I was black. There were wrestlers who didn't want to work with me, not because I couldn't work, I wasn't a great worker by any means, but because of the color of my skin. Some of them tried to make me look bad on purpose. If I would throw a drop kick, you could set your clock by the time they got up. And it, it, little did they know that they would help me because that's when I started to learn dancing and stuff of still standing there. I don't I never want to forget them. I never want to forget I never ever want to forget when I went to Charlotte, North Carolina. The promoters asked me asked me to come in on their mask. They wanted to call me the black stud. <laughs> I said to them, you got the right name, just the wrong man. We came up with a name, Sweet Ebony Diamond. I worked with Ric Flair, who shared that evening event in the Charlotte Coliseum. He was always a class act, and he made me look like a million dollars. When we... Where is Rick, by the way? Is he in the house? Oh, that's right, he's in the back. He's going to be. <laughs> what can I say? First thing goes your mind. <laughs>